twilight. Yeah. And you look at like above the, the trees, there's a little bit lights, of kind of halo. Mm -hmm. And you always thought it was uh, an optical illusion. It's, it's there all the time. Now, let's try this. This is so fun. <laughs> a ghost or something. Like all right. Leave uh, your left hand up. As it was before, spread your fingers. Okay, now the right forefinger. Try the same thing again. Connect with the left forefinger and pull it away. Look at that same, same halo or same haziness connecting the fingertips. Mm -hmm. Now slowly, as you move the right forefinger down, look how it connects to the middle finger, and then the ring finger, and then your pinky, and go up and down. You don't have to touch them anymore. Just once you establish that distance, keep the same four or five inch distance between those fingertips. Ooh. As you move it down, you'll see the connection there. Pretty wild, isn't wow. it? <laughs> Very cool. It was always there, you just never looked it's at like it. Right? it to... Yeah, let's try this. Use only one finger. Choose your finger wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Right. Look at the area around the finger. Now there's no streaks that you look for. It. Now you want to focus your eyes on on seeing that that haziness around the fingertip. That little white around light. The finger. Mm -hmm. Now if you concentrate on the fingertip, right above the fingertip, what do you see there? Is it like a? I don't know. It's like a. Is it a little bit more congested? Yeah, it's like a haze or... Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's like a really, gas really fume hard or to see it. It's almost like a little funnel coming out of the fingertip. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to see. It okay, makes it like more... Is it like a gas fume or something? Like mm -hmm, a hazy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You'll see just it's more, it's more concentrated above the fingertip than around. You see it? Okay, like I, don't, I see it on yeah. the side, but yeah. I don't yeah. see it on I'd the like top. I'd like to think of a little funnel, but... It's, it's a little energy center. Each fingertip has it. They're like little chakras. Yeah, like in Indian philosophy, you know about the chakras? Energy centers through the midline of the body. I think mine might be blocked. Most popular belief yeah. is that there are seven major chakras right. and about 21 secondary chakras. Like and again, there are all kinds of yeah, other, you know, nine or 11, and everybody talks you about it differently. It? That's why we don't talk exactly about it. <laughs> we just have the energy around us, and it's easier to deal with. Okay, so how many of you can see that around me now? Around what? Around me. Same energy, what you saw around your finger. So, to make it easier, um, we took off pictures here, and I will stand against the wall. Uh, it's, it's good when it's a little bit darker, it's easier to see. So when you practice at home, lower the lights or, or find, find a nice area where the, the wall is plain, there's nothing there, and, and you will find the perfect lighting for yourself, since everybody's different. Would it be Maybe beneficial different, with candlelight, doing it with candlelight? You can try, and also different uh, colors uh, may, may uh, come up with different reactions. So let's try to see this. We're doing the same thing. Don't look at me. Don't look at the wall. Your goal is to focus your eyes right on the area above my head. That's very tough. But all these things are like, like those three-dimensional pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't figure it out, but one day you see it, and then you see it all the time. Right? Okay, so don't look at me, don't look at the wall. Focus on the area above my head. Can you see that same haziness around my head? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just so you know that it's not a shadow, I'm going to make it grow. Try to see that. Okay? Whoa. You see it? Good mm -hmm. job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's make it even bigger. Try to see that. Give everybody plenty of time to adjust their eyes. You all see it? Mm -hmm. I say going up and up. down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That goes with my thoughts. It's like a pulse. Mm -hmm.
But it's around your whole body. It's, it's I'm going to give you one more. Make it even bigger. You see it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, now keep your eyes on it. It's going to be weird because it's still there. Oh my god. Right? Yeah. That so it's is not, so not cool. not just an optical illusion, it, it's actually there. It shows you that everything you touch, you leave an energy mark on it. Okay. Yes. So when you breathe in and out, does that mean that your aura gets smaller and larger as your breath? Uh, it has a tiny change there, yes. However, it, it changes with your thoughts. Now, people ask me, well, how, I do, how do I do that? I don't know. I just think of my energy getting bigger and it gets bigger. Mm -hmm. Now, you can, you can adjust your thoughts. If you don't know how to do that, you can think positive thoughts. We mentioned before, you know, death or somebody dying. I want you to focus on the worst moment in your life right now. Just close your eyes. We won't do it for long. Just for 10 yeah. seconds. Just think of it. That's pretty much enough. I mean, right away, it was like, whoa, all your energies went down, right? It, it didn't even have to be an exact certain thought. Just the worst moment of your life, just that thought itself lowered your energy. Now think of the happiest moment of your life, right now. Hey, besides the smiles and everything, you can, you can see the energy growing. Okay? So instantly you've changed your energy. Now how would you like your energy to stay? Come on, happy, 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 happy all happy. the time. So uh, start concentrating on it. Because your thoughts are the strongest influence on your energy. No matter what it is, you know, people walking around you with flu and uh, you know, bugs and whatever and complaining. Well, you can either pick that up, change your thoughts to negative, or you can go positive, and it will never affect you. But you have to be positive in every way. Now, at one lecture, I had a, a lady told me, well, you know, I, I tried that before. I had a, a bad migraine, and um, I, I thought positive, but it didn't help. But what did you think? No headache, no headache, no headache, but it never <laughs> went away. Well, of course, headache is a negative word, no is a negative word. Instead, you have to figure out a way to, to put it in a positive way. You know, with every breath I take, I feel better and better. I'm getting relaxed. My neck is relaxed. I mean, just make, make up something positive. The words have to be positive. When you talk every day, try to drop the negative words. It all has to be positive. Let me show you an example. Curlian photograph. It's an enlarged picture of a Curlian photograph of my fingertips. Let me um, do it this way. We'll cover it up. <laughs> we'll go step by step because these are three different exposures of the energy. First one was taken when I was at rest. Do you all know what a Curlian photograph is? It's a uh, small device. This was a, a small device. It can be any size. Um, your hand is in a dark chamber resting on a photo paper which is resting